I wanted to ask you about the impact that Gloria Stefan has had, specifically when she, when it comes to inspiring other uh, Hispanic artists. Uh, could you talk a little about, bit about her impact and anybody out there right now that embodies what she brought uh, to entertainment that you think uh, is out there doing well, she, she's def- things? She's definitely a tremendous role model, you know, and I'm sure she could tell you that she's been inspired by people before her that... Uh, you know, I think Gloria would probably say that, and Emilio also, in, in a feeling that I share, is that I think we've, the three of us have been blessed to f- fulfill our dreams as artists, you know, but we keep dreaming because there's more to accomplish, there's more avenues to explore, and that's what I feel about them. They're constantly, there's, there's, they're not, never resting on their laurels, you know, they're constantly, let's create something else, here's another idea. Emilio, let me produce other artists. Uh, look, look what and what you say, how they've inspired other artists. Look what, look, just look within their own household. And Emily, who is an extraordinary, talented girl, you'll see her perform tonight. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, I'm very proud of them. Looking at the career of your dad and your mom, what was the greatest thing they taught you as a woman in, in the uh, industry and who's an artist yourself as well? Be yourself, you know. A lot of times, no matter what, people are going to try to tell you who to be. They're going to try to superimpose an image on top of you because they think that's what's best. And you don't have to be upset about it, but you just be yourself. And the rest will follow, you know. And Whatever that, that is. sounds especially important with social media. And oh, gosh. Social, I, I think that social media has its pros. It has very beautiful elements, but it has a lot of elements that we need to tame. We need to balance ourselves in that respect. So I hope for everybody's sake that people begin to be more organic. But, you know, it's a yin and a yang, so I guess we'll see. <laughs> you think it's harder for new talent to break through in the industry right now, in the environment, when it comes to entertainment, uh, compared to when Gloria I'm broke a, into the I'm business? not a good judge about that. I think it's always hard. You know, what's it's more or less, I don't know. In terms of the acting field, there are more places to act. There are more networks, you know, the, before there was only five, three networks and five studios. Now you have the cable industry and all that. So there's more, there's more opportunity. I think there's more diversity now than when I started, for sure. Uh, in the music business, uh, uh, I, I wouldn't know, to tell you the truth. I mean, I'm involved in it, but it's, it's, it's not my principal source of uh, income, as I say, you know. Well, I think for our children, for our family generations to come, it is a very beautiful thing to be able to do. And for our culture, because we really tried to keep our Cuban culture, Latin culture, very much alive in our music, whether it's a blend or some albums like Mi Tierra. So uh, it, for us, if I had to leave only one thing behind, it would be the fact that we are this cultural blend, which really represents the greatness of this country and what's made it incredible. Emilio, I think it's about tonight, it's about the dreams. This country is about dreams and the, I think getting this award is not about me, about the uh, glory, it's about, you know, telling the people that every dream can come true and this time you will be able to celebrate an incredible night.